and play WWE 2K because tomorrow is WrestleMania day, chat. Who is watching WrestleMania tomorrow? Oh, me too. Me too. Could it be seen? Uh, it's on Peacock, yeah. It's free on Peacock. I wonder if it's gonna be on Netflix eventually. They still do that? Never in your life? You've never watched WrestleMania, Bo? Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, uh, I respect you a little less right now. You ever watched the Royal Rumble? You weren't allowed to watch wrestling growing up? You know, when we were watching it growing up, it was pretty violent and raunchy, I will say. So, like, our era of wrestling was, I would say, the, the gnarliest of it. It's not like that anymore. Although, it's getting, getting more closer to that than, I'd say it's getting better. 7.99? Yeah, we got 7.99. This is the daily, so. Easy 79. Seven, easy 7.99. We had hoe trains? We did have the hoe train. Today's like, tomorrow's like a full day of wrestling. Tonight's Wale Mania too. Wale Mania is like Wale's WrestleMania weekend event. stuff that just went on right there what do we got nothing good you think one three maybe one two it was wally mania last night oh hall of fame tonight yeah wally mania was last night you're right sorry my days are all mixed up because you know i didn't i wasn't in real life for the last three days everything to not get hit by one of those. Shicey little one three area, I will say. Uh, no, I didn't see it. Yeah, I totally get that French Quaker when you're kind of hanging out. The days do get a little out of whack. Let's go. Uh -huh. 
game you're playing right now you don't need a timeout for six 600 seconds thank you for deleting it I guess I already saw it too so it doesn't matter yeah it's not that big one. it's not that big wait are you still you're not dead chat I'm a professional oh whoa mm. okay All right. mm. I know what I'm doing I know de rusting now you're all good Jason oh come on what the hell two dark ones in a row why you do this That is unlucky. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch WrestleMania. I, ju I just asked that. You might have just came in. Yeah, I'm definitely watching WrestleMania. Am I? I uh, probably not with stream. I don't think. Um, but yeah, I knew it was tomorrow. I am a active wrestling fan. Thank you very much. Even if I don't watch the shows, I'm still catching up on everything that's happening. Where is... Where's the doggy? I didn't see, I don't remember seeing the dog anywhere. Or even hearing him for that matter. Never gonna happen though. You know what? Stranger things have happened, and I think AEW's in a really weird spot right now. Drama? What what juicy drama did I miss in the world? Besides the fact that everyone's what's up, brother? Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Besides that, your house shook from an earthquake today. You spent ten days with your girlfriend who lives in Honduras. Ooh, that's fun. up. Uh, just 
watch stuff on Hulu? Did you miss me that much? You were like, I can't watch any other streamers. Absolutely cannot. Thank you, I appreciate that. I appreciate that love and dedication. And that's, you, you know what? We need that in our relationship. I didn't think I was gonna make that jump, actually. Uh, what percentage of screw-ups in Lunky can be avoided by going slower? Ooh, actually, I'm gonna give you a hot take. Going slower does not help you avoid screw-ups. I think it's the opposite. I think you need to, I think going too slow allows more time for stuff to happen. Right? When you're inching ahead, I think that's when, honestly, bad things go down. Do I want to do this? Okay, yeah, I do. Yeah, I... Okay, oh no, no, no. joking about that your house is shook again another earthquake in New York dude that's crazy End of days, man. Do they patch that out? The unlimited? Or do you need, oh, you need two vampires, that's what it is. Um, I've only, I've only been in a couple, like, for living on the West Coast, I've only actually been in, like, a couple earthquakes that I was awake for. Yeah. Your cat just looked at you like, what the fuck was that? One of the earthquakes, I thought, I don't know why I thought this, but I thought our dog was just shaking the bed. And I don't know why I thought that. Like, I thought she was just in there. Like, in our bed, and she just was, like, shaking, you know? Uh, no, I've never played Mother Lode. Another earthquake just happened 30 seconds ago in New Jersey? That's what we were just talking about, yeah. Oh, you do need Vlad's cape. You're totally right. You also need Vlad's cape. Just had an aftershock? Or oh, those are tremors before the big one. Your guys' houses, I would imagine, are not built like our houses, though, right? Do you guys have basements there? basically just California and Texas that doesn't have basements? Um, I don't know. Texas doesn't have basements? Why, don't, why doesn't Texas have basements? I'd also speculate that probably like Florida doesn't have a lot. X water for a hundred fucking months. I fucking love you. Fuck everybody else. 
The rest of you are dead to me. X Water, best friend. What a legend. Why don't they have basements in Texas though? Is there is there a reason? Thank you for the love. Play in the ground? Oh, interesting. So they, yeah, that probably is like regional, Texas to Texas. Too much oil? I don't think that's true. I don't think that's how it works. Florida, does Florida have? Florida doesn't have, I would imagine, just because of sea level, like flooding and shit. You don't know why homes in California just don't have basements? Earthquakes. Yeah, earthquakes. Yeah, it's earthquakes. Because if you're home, if you go, if you're in your basement during an earthquake, you're done. There's no, it's over. That's it. That sucks to drill into. I know there's parts of Washington where they don't, they had, they start, it's like, depending on how old your house is, it might have a basement but you can't use it because there's so much radiation. Yeah. Okay, well, this is just super fun. I don't know why I went this way. I already have a jetpack. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Still get alien compass and elixir. Where is alien compass right now? Uh. Yeah, I would. That's like the one thing I do hate about. Like I miss basements. Like in Michigan, everyone's got a basement, right? And that's like where you hung out as a kid, you know? Regardless of its level of finish. Yeah, I don't know where it's at. You honestly don't think it's earthquakes why California doesn't have basements? Yeah, no, it definitely is. Because you have office buildings, and those are essentially... Well, yeah, but that's, you know, more capitalism. Like, yeah, you're not willing to die for your job, then what do you even have one for? I'll die for this shit. Yeah, I think that's why Midwest, it's like... Because of all the tornadoes. The Texans have tornado shelters. They have guns, they just shoot guns at the tornadoes. Effective. Yeah, it's effective. means you have money? Really? I feel like, like, I feel like it's just like your houses, either all the houses around you do or don't, you know? I never, I never, that was never my deciding factor on if my friends are rich. Now, if they had a Super Nintendo and a Sega Genesis? I knew them bastards had dough. Okay. 
Okay, that was, that was almost bad. The basements are more expensive to make because of earthquakes. You know what, I, I should have realized it wasn't about safety. Why would it be about safety? It was about earthquakes, but not just not the reason I thought. Playroom. We have like our uh, we have like an upstairs like open area, and that's what we treat as like our kids. This is the only like area we have that doesn't have anything. Oh man, no, I never. I I I literally judge like, oh man, if my friends got both, like he's lit. Chat, this is uh, no longer looking good for us, chat. We're in a tough spot here now. play this you're half expecting me to start rapping you mean Zach uh yo Britsy thank you for the sub oh, this is I'm just causing all sorts of shit here wait is Dan rap too uh you never seen this part of Lunky 2 before this isn't part of the 799 one yeah it is I mean, that's just a level. Oh my god. Just ignore everything that's happened so far. Babylon stressful to watch. Don't look at the sub count. Don't look at it. We got to give it a week before we're allowed to look at it. I just took a vacation, so it's a week before we're allowed to look at it. I don't want you to stress about it. I don't want to stress about it. Listen, I'm, I'm an underrated streamer, okay? A smiling servant of jade marked by the snake. Smiling jade snake. <gasps> I 
I'm so excited. Yo, but Quasin, thank you for the five. Can I increase the volume of my microphone? Is it is it that bad? Oh, Quasin. I didn't, I, yeah, I'm not, I wasn't worried about it. All right, we're in a bad spot because we have no flight. So I don't really know how we're gonna do 7.99, honestly, to be 100% real with y'all. I'm not really sure. Does watching me count as cheating on your boyfriend? Uh, no, you're not even subbed. So we haven't even entered that stage yet, right? Not even close yet. You believe in me? I believe in you! Uh, Klausen, thank you so much. Thanks again, Brissy. Thank you, Dr. Zestrum. Uh, thanks again, X-Water. I love you. Thank you for the raid. Couples that watch poo together stay together? That's true. Mm, getting closer, baby. Getting closer. Okay. Chat, this is gonna be jetpack. not a jetpack. Yeah, it wasn't a jetpack. I need some streamer luck here. <sighs> I almost thought I killed that. I need a little bit of streamer luck. How did the jet... What happened to the... Don't worry about what happened to that jetpack. Hey, don't worry about it, okay? I definitely wasn't just being super greedy. It wasn't just me being really, really, really greedy. There's a jetpack in the block beneath you? Yeah, now I do. Wait, now I do want spoilers. I know, I wouldn't, I don't have glasses or anything. There could be jetpacks in every one of these blocks. Mm. All right, let's sit for a minute. Oh, is this still the first? Oh, jeez. You were having the itch to play this again too? It's a good game. It's a game that I'll play. It's like, it's like a game that I can come back to over and over and over again, you know? And also, whenever you leave it, you get a little bit bad at it, so it's fun again. You know? Jetpack. It's not a jetpack. Not a jetpack. We need it. It helps that it's never the same game twice. 
Yeah, I wish it had maybe like more alternating branching paths or something though because and I, I'd say like the pro uh, one problem that I have with this I'm gonna criticize Spelunky right here. You're gonna hear me do something that I never do Compared to something like Hades, right? Is that there is definitely like a best way to win This like you know what I mean? I have a general There's like a general way I want to do things most of the time, you know? Um, whereas like Hades, you, there's just so many different ways to really like play the game. Yeah, I think that's how a lot of people do is Volcano into Ocean, right? Yeah. I wish it like chose for you instead of you choosing. I wish it just like had like random levels and just chose for you that way. Oh, that's actually pretty clutch. If there is going to be a jetpack in the wall... This is how we're gonna find it. Now we can at least find it. We definitely need that jetpack though. If at all possible. Man, should I get the axle? Chugs! I hope everything's going well. Um, I hope Undisputed Kingdom wins it, uh, ROH Supercar tonight. Do you like it? Should I buy this? I almost think I should buy this. I'm using the rope all willy-nilly. What if I need those? Well, you know, you need to survive. Never mind. I can't handle it. Fuck. That was a dumb move. Yeah, that was a dumb... That one was a dumb move. Didn't that one seem fast? I thought I had a little... I thought I had a little time there. You've died in this game as well, what happens? Never again. You thought I was a gamer? Take back your subs. Uh, I'm Grant Pooh Bear, those coming in for the raid. I play video games. Um, sometimes I play them fast. Sometimes I play them well. Occasionally I make mistakes like the one you just saw. I also am hot as fuck. Can't forget that. Ow. You never died in a game? Same. I don't know if I've ever had a GDQ run where I didn't die. Which is kind of embarrassing. I'm tan too. I got like, okay, I was pretty diligent with the sunscreen all week, so I don't know how tan I got. I was rather diligent. I was trying to keep my pasty whiteness, um, and I really didn't want my tattoos to fade. That was the real thing. I didn't want my tattoos to fade at all. Uh-oh. Um... Are there many people who have made it to the end of the game? Uh, I have no idea how many people have done 799 at this point. I'm sure Derek knows. Gotta maintain the gamer cred. Well, I'm more worried about my, like, the one on my hand and my, uh, my arm than the discount Jolteon at this point. Whatever, if he fades a little bit. I'll put it I'll put a different viewer's name on it once it fades. Suck it, Britzy. The 
this still the hardest thing I've ever done? Um, like in game, it's not like the hardest challenge I've ever done. I just think it's the hardest challenge in gaming that's like, like a normal game. You know what I mean? Like it's not, there's nothing extra. You're not adding a dance pad or not getting any ammo. Like you're just doing that. So I don't, I never thought it was like the hardest challenge I had done, but like the hardest, it's the hardest challenge in just normal video games, you know? In my opinion. Uh, gameplay, instant restart. Yes. The hardest base game challenge. I'm trying to think of like, what's the hardest thing I've ever done? I don't know. That's tough. Iron Man? No, Iron Man's more luck than like, I mean, it's, it's definitely got like skill involved in it, but it's, you know, I, I think after you know what you know, what you need to know, you kind of just kind of like hoping for the right, everything to kind of line up. Like, I definitely think there's skill involved in Iron Man, but I think it's also definitely has some luck involved in it. Yeah. Iron Bros? Well, I didn't finish that. Yeah, let's not talk about that one. Uh, not really. I mean, I don't think anything 2D Mario will ever be in my hardest thing ever anymore, just because, like, no matter what, no matter how hard it gets, like, you know, you're gonna eventually gonna do it. Except trimming the herbs. Is double turkey a new thing? No, that was just on the turkey level. That was just turkey level. They just had a random spawn there. It's on Mario Maker 2, so this, those servers didn't shut down, so. Oh my god, everyone, I get it. All of you are in pirate software. You know what? If I, you know what, I should just say like, yeah, I have a goal, I should just make that my goal. What's your goal right now? Level 50 hype train. That's my goal, level 50 hype train. That's the goal. The big brain move, man. It's so big brain, it offends me. Oh my god, I get it. Your levels are dark. You can make dark levels. Holy Christ. Yeah, I decided to do jungle, you know? Just mix it up a little. No, just mix it up a little. Let's have some fun. the three thousand dollars from the bug i wanted the money from the bug oh i wanted the money from the bug thank you garilac for the 28 months i wanted the goddamn money from the bug let's not talk about what just happened right there 
It's always greed. Yeah, I never be greed. It's uh, Splunky's kind of a. Uh, it's it's kind of like real life. Being greedy just gets you killed. Says the guy who wants the level 50 hype train. I don't. I was just making a joke about how like the it's such a good it's a good system. Like you make your stream about getting that emote, being the first stream to get the emote. It's a good system. It was smart, right? And I was joking. I that. I don't think I have. I don't think I have what it takes to 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 encourage people to do it. You know what I mean? I think I have that. Yeah. Here's the hype train. It's the num It's the scammiest of all scam trains. Yeah. Oh, uh, the hardest thing I ever did in gaming was camp out for the Wii. It was fucking cold. Real, real cold. Camping out for the Wii and the Xbox 360. Those are the hardest things. When you camped out on the Wii, for the Wii, your friend, still your friend, pulled a knife on an eight-year-old kid? What the fuck? What? <laughs> Where did you camp out at? Yours is way different than mine. Walmart? What, what, what was up with the eight-year-old? Why did, why did he deserve that? Oh, I have no rope. Kid should have known, should have been ready, man. Uh, the Best Buy we camped out for the 364, they were not, they were not ready for it at all. What was about to happen, and they had, there was probably like 40 people that had been like there all night, and they only had 20 Xboxes. so bad. Oh, I know. Yeah, the seed sucks. The parents dropped him off the portable TV and the kid was being extremely annoying for six hours. And the rest of the line applauded your friend for the night thing. Wait, he was all alone? Wait, you support this decision? And everyone clapped. How was he being annoying? He's eight. I gotta hear more about, yeah. I did not support this decision. Good. 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 Am I the asshole for pulling a knife on an eight year old? Oh my god. 
They need to have you write your most unhinged stories. And then I just spend a whole day reading them. That's what I need. Whew. I fucked that up. Was my friend also A? Were you A? No, they were 17. She's, they said that. Oh, man. Yeah, that's wild. None of that happened in mine, I gotta say. I mean, the craziest thing that happened in mine was, like, a soccer game busted out. What kind of knife, too? I feel like that actually makes a difference here in the story, chat. Uh-oh. I don't know why I think that makes a difference. A comp USA, you made friends with a guy and it took turns getting in her cars and every time an outsider approached, you woke each other up and got back in line. <laughs> um, we had the people right next to us for our Xbox 360. I wrote a paper, a really good paper. I was doing homework during that time. I wrote a good paper and then the people next to us had a full blown CRT TV, but not just a CRT TV chat. One of those, like a, like a 33 inch CRT TV that had like a built in border around it like a built-in wood border around it, like straight from grandma's house. And they brought that fucker, set up Smash Brothers. Everyone was just playing Smash Brothers all night, pretty much the entire time, right? And then they left it. And then they just straight up left it in front of Best Buy. This is a shitty seed, chat. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, thanks, N Dog. Happy four years to you. I greatly appreciate the sub. Thanks for the love. Yeah, Zenith TV. No, I need that. No, I need ropes. I need ropes. this it's the worst Zenith's owned by LG does that is it still make do they still make TVs what do they do that brand can't still be functioning right he does he misses all the fucking time Like, what's the point of saving him if you're gonna miss, bro? That it was so nice to play games with Kate today. I haven't played with her in so long. I haven't seen me play this in a while, always a joy. I know. Like if he's off screen or something. See, I just thought he was connected to the, like connected to the vampire. My favorite sound in Lucky 2, when you throw the treasure chest against the wall.
You've never beat Olmec? You always just do the skip? Wait, you've never just beat him the normal way? Dude, I think the skip takes longer to set up, to be honest with you. Yeah, I feel like the skip just takes longer to set up. It's really not, once you have a system, it's really not hard. Yeah, I want to save my bombs, you know? You gotta, you gotta do it. Has this game ever gotten an update? Oh yeah. Uh, it's been updated to grip. I don't think it's getting updated anymore though. Like they said, it's not gonna get updated anymore. They didn't add any content. It just got kind of, like certain things fixed. Waddler Wednesday? Yeah, that's what we can do. Spelunky for Waddler Wednesday. Um, thank you. I'll take your sub, baby. Oh, don't want to do that. bit of a pickle. Oh, come on, you bitch. Am I into MMA? Yes, and tonight, tonight we're gonna have, you know what? I'm gonna be more into it now. Tonight we have one championship MMA live here on stream. We have all the rights to it, chat. They are, I forget, it's sponsored by some movie, but we're gonna have the rights to a lot of um, stuff now. This being the first of them. No, bitch. Oh. No, not Roadhouse. Uh, yeah, we got this. We've got, I, I would say there's gonna be some normal sports and there's gonna be a lot of like ESPN 8, the Ocho shit, which like I'm very into. You know what I mean? I'm very, very into that. Uh, no, I haven't seen the new Roadhouse or the old one. I, I don't think I would care about either one of them. Isn't Post Malone in it though? No, I don't have the rights to the NCAA Women's Tournament, unfortunately, no. So Not yet. Yo, Xeno Fox. You don't have to do that. Chat, chat. Wait, is that? Oh, we're on level two. Chat, 48 more levels to go. You can do it, chat. 48 more levels to go. Um, I would say the general consensus based on ratings is that the women's tournament is a bit more compelling than the men's tournament, especially the last two years. Um, and I also think it's in a, like, women's college basketball is in really good hands, you know what I mean? Because, like, while Angel Reese and, um, Caitlin Clark are moving on, Haley Van Lis getting the rest one more year, and then you've got Juju Watkins for at least two more years, Paige Buckner's staying another year, um, so it's, it's just in a good, it's, it's in a good spot, you know?
Yeah, also, it doesn't have Yukon, like, dominating. You know what's, you know what's funny is Yukon right now, the Yukon men are dominating the NCAA tournament the way the Yukon women used to dominate the NCAA tournament and ruin it. Yeah. I know, I kept the key. We're just gonna have to bomb our way through there. Come on, you can make it. Come on, I know you can make it. Come on. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, th I just think there's a, there's more star power. You have Caitlin Clark, who's, you know, just fucking fun to watch. Like, she's just fun to watch her play basketball, you know? It's hard. I mean, I think it's also like it, you don't even have the best 18 year olds playing in in college basketball a lot anymore. So many of them play like, you know, they'll play like OTE or something like that, you know, or D or not G League, but D League or G League. One of the, what's, what's the other one called? The NBA is ruining NCAA men's basketball. Nah. It's not the NBA. Do NCAA women get paid? Uh, so, men, nobody gets paid by the NCAA. So like that's like that's something that maybe like people don't understand. Nobody gets paid by the NCAA at all or by their school. No school can pay anyone. Anyone getting paid is getting paid by a third party. Um, think Gatorade, think your local car dealership. Shit like that. Yeah, the NCAA has no interest in, in getting rid of their system. Uh, and there are some very, there are women college basketball players that have some very lucrative deals, yes. Clark, I think, was in the top five, but she might be number one right now. Like, she might be number one. I remember Caitlin Clark was in the top five of paid college athletes earlier this year just because Shador Sanders was so high, so I, I got these lists all the time. Um, so, but I'd imagine now she's probably number one. Football brings in the most. Well, those guys have to stay for three years so you can get a little bit more out of them. I think that really helps um, as far as getting them better deals, you know? Uh, the other thing is like the NFL money is not like NBA money, you know what I mean? Like if you can if you can play in the league, if you can play in the NBA, you gotta go, you know? You absolutely have to go. You, you just don't have a choice. If you're gonna get drafted in the, in the first 30 picks, you have to go, you have to leave. You can't stay. Well, Bronny's not, Bronny hasn't officially gone yet. Yeah, I know he declared for the draft. I want to be really clear. Bronny declared for the draft. But, he still has his eligibility. Yeah. You can declare for the NBA draft and like, as long as you don't, before it was like as long as you didn't hire an agent, I think, but it, now it might be different because I'd imagine all these kids have somebody representing them, right? Um, pure speculation he's going to go to Ohio State.
They're family friends, not agents. See, I, I know, I, I think you're allowed to have an agent now in the league for to work your brand deals in college because it'd be highly irresponsible for them to say, oh, you can take brand deals, but you can't have anyone else negotiate them for you. That'd be a, a very... Yeah. Well, not even just Brawny, you know, I'm not even just talking about Brawny. I'm talking about, like, all of them. Any of them. So par for the NC, that's a good point. I'm pretty sure, though, they're allowed to have them now. But they might not be allowed to have like uh, like an NBA certified person like that or something, you know? I don't know how it works. Have you seen what have you seen what they they got offered? The NCAA players got offered to be an NCAA football chat. That one's the one I find interesting. Six hundred dollars. Well, for some players that's lit, right? If you if you're on a fucking you know you you're on some random team like whatever you know what I mean that's awesome and a copy of the game the copy of the game is actually pretty lit too like for some players that's absolutely lit but then there's other players that's like nah nah son I mean here's the thing though you either my thing is either you kind of either accept it and are in the game or you're just gonna be in the game as number blah 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 whatever. You know? I know, I'd be like, I wanna be in the game. I'd be so sad to not be in the game. I mean, I know, like, smartly, like, there's gonna be kids that don't take it. And they're, and they're right, they're probably right for not taking it, right? You're still in the thought of the scholarship is your salary and money you should have? Well, the medic, medic command, the school's not paying them anymore. So, yeah, I don't get what your problem is. Yeah, the school the school doesn't pay them. So what, what's the deal? What's the problem? The school's not the one giving them money. You don't think they should be allowed to take a commercial or make a YouTube channel? Because that's, that's where the money comes from, dude. So yeah, I mean, cool. You're, you're, I, I'm, you think that I disagree with that, but still, um, yeah. Here's what do you, what do you think about? Do you, do you think that kids that are on academic scholarships sh should they be allowed to make money off their likeness? Yeah. Yeah, what about players not on... Yeah, what if they weren't on scholarship? Exactly. If you're on an academic scholarship, you should be able to do it, right? What if you're... What if you're... What if you went to the school, you're on an academic scholarship, and you won a Nobel Prize, and then you... Got a... You know what I mean? So that's like... I don't think that's anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are the NSA not even allowed to have their own YouTube channels? They weren't before NIL. So at three years ago, they weren't allowed to have their own YouTube channels, no. If you're on scholarship from the team where you're provided healthcare equipment and all the things you get with a job, you don't get to be sponsored on top of that? Wait, why though? What, why, what is the logic on that though? You, yeah, I, I, respectfully, I'm not saying you're wrong. I just wanna know why you should not be allowed to make money but the school should be allowed to sell a jersey with your number on it. Yeah, so why should you not be able to do a commercial?
for Gatorade. But the school, yeah, why, why, why? Yeah, when you were in grad school in addition to your tuition waiver, you were paid as a TA job. It's a good point. Do you think the Cavender twins will ever wrestle? No. Yeah. Will I do Emerald Ironmon, please? Maybe. Uh, Travatron. Yeah, I guess, like, I don't... I don't... Out of some, like, miss... Like, some idea of, of integrity, uh, academic integrity. A lot of colleges just do the numbers. Whoa, 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 hold on. But if they do the number, your number, that's your number. People are buying your number, right? I get, oh yeah, but medical, yeah. What What is your, I guess I just don't see the logic. You, you haven't explained the logic right. You know what I mean? It could buy a number from a player in the past, but it's not, right? It's not. That's not why kids would be buying it right then. It's not. What about the player in the past? Should they get the money then? Yeah, what up, Big John? How you doing, baby? Um, that's what I want to know. I just want to know your logic. You still haven't given us your logic on it. And I'm not saying you're wrong, right? I wholly disagree with it. But I'm not saying you're wrong, and I don't get the logic yet. Yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so Iowa, Caitlin Clark's jersey. Any athletic scholarships with a salary? I just don't get why an academic person who's benefiting from the school just as much should be allowed, but an athlete shouldn't. The only, the only logic anyone can ever really give me is that is for some sort of integrity of like giving small schools a chance, which I would buy if small schools ever in my lifetime ever had a chance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't equate getting at, I mean, they go to school, they get their degree, but they're doing a lot for the school too. You know what I mean? Like, there's no doubt that they're doing a ton for the school, right? Like, you have to admit that. You think college athletes do a lot for the school, right? I think that's a pretty mutual beneficial relationship. There's, you know what? The college doesn't need to have a football program. They don't need to do that. Yeah. You have the, an issue with predatory natures of agents. Usually, your decisions and biases do more usually than the player. You're always a minority in that, and you're slow to respond because you're watching dishes. Yeah, you're fine. Um, but that's a different topic. Medical medical demand. That's that's completely different. Again, that's a different topic, though. That has you, you still haven't gone to why they shouldn't. I know streamers with bad agents. I've had a bad agent. I've had a, I've had good agents turn into bad agents. You know what I mean? We could make that argument. You could make that argument about anything with, when it comes to sponsorships. But that is, I guess we're not. You definitely haven't re respectfully. You haven't expanded upon your thesis of why that salary is enough, and that other people on different types of scholarships. Should be allowed to do things they're not. Do do do. This is a. Oh, this is gonna be rough. I'm realizing right now. Yeah.
The general thesis. Yes, I love saying the general thesis. I can't believe that worked out for me, chat. By the way. Yeah. Uh, you think there's a lot of knowledge from the player before that they weren't getting paid? You don't fault them for it, but you just said the point in life where if I could play the game you love and get healthcare they obtained by amenities that came with it, you would have been happy? I don't know how happy you would have been if you were a college athlete, right? One of the most popular in the world. Let's say you were a Tim Tebow level of athlete, right? Not Tim Tebow specifically. You were a Tim Tebow level of athlete. And then let's say you got hurt your senior year. Um, also, you know that they don't receive healthcare year round. I don't know why you're going into healthcare for too, right? The healthcare thing's weird to me. Um, like everyone on campus can subscribe to the campus healthcare program. Um, but, but regardless, like when a school make, if a school made millions and millions and millions of dollars off you, millions and millions of dollars off you, and that's provable, you're just okay with that. And you can't even take a commercial. You're, you'd be okay with that. You can't even take a commercial. To me, what you're saying is you're okay with people you don't think that they should be able to participate in capitalism, but the school should and every other student should, but they should not be. Now, we can get in a whole big other discussion about why capitalism might not be good for that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But I just don't think, I, I don't think you would agree with that. I don't think you would agree. I don't, I think you... I really, I really hate when people say I'd be happy to play the sport I love. Um, Cause I have a job that people would be really happy to have. And I tell you right now, whenever I, whenever someone takes money from me in it, I'm not happy. I'm never fucking happy. And I promise you, there's a billion things beyond, that, beyond playing a game that goes into being a college athlete. I don't think any college athlete, uh, their scholarship isn't for Saturdays when they play football. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, comparing to the military actually might be the best comparison. Because you should just be happy to defend your country. You volunteered for years before you decided to go to a paid field? Mm, but, but why? <laughs> You vol volunteered is different though, still, right? Yeah. You love your field? Why didn't you just work in it for free forever? That's kind of, yeah, I don't know. Can soldiers do NIL deals? I think soldiers can probably take any sponsorships they want, yeah. I just highly doubt there's a big, um... I don't think, oh shit, I almost fucked up. I don't think there's a market for that, chat. But they can definitely have YouTube channels. Smile at serving a gold marked by the Vortex. 
gold vortex. Um, I'll give you a better example. Um, here. Did you, did you know of an athlete, Jeremy Bloom? Do you know of this guy? I went to college with him, actually. Jeremy Bloom played in the NFL uh, for about three years. He blew out his knee, okay? But when Jeremy Bloom was in college at the University of Colorado, my, my first two years, uh, he wasn't just a collegiate athlete. He wasn't just the best return man in the nation at the time. He was also one of the best mogul skiers in the world. Now, if you know anything about mogul skis or anything about going to the Olympics, right? Go to the Olympics is expensive. It costs money, right? It's not free to go to the Olympics. And he didn't come from a rich family. So the only way that he could go to the Olympics was through taking sponsorships. Despite the fact that he never took a sponsorship for anything related to football, he lost his NCAA eligibility back in the day. To play football, even though he was never an NCAA skier, right? I always thought that was a horrible, honestly horrible injustice that I, I watched, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's a beefcake, he was. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Here's the thing. When I go, when you look at Alabama and I look at, when I look at University of Colorado, right? And we fill 63,000 people in a stadium on a weekend at an average price of $40 a ticket and they sell booze or not booze when they sell hot dogs and everything else. You see everyone wearing them shirts and stuff, right? Someone's making money. And I just always rather it be workers. Oh no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Wouldn't write you off. Wasn't writing you off, mostly because I've had this conversation before, and I know I know the big thing. If they were on academic scholarship, could they do it all? And it's hard to get a past that. Usually the coach, dude, the amount of coaches that are the highest paid public servant in your state. Probably not. Yeah. advertisement for someone else's stream. No, I always think I, you know, no. I mean, here's the thing, chat, in the grand scheme of things, like, it's not a, a huge, uh, it's also not a massively important topic, you know? I love sports. But they're not that important. They're important to me, but they're not that important, you know? The only thing that gets it written off by me is like when someone's just intentionally being a twat.
There was another body? Oh, it was upstairs. Oh, yeah, I probably should have went and got it. Sports might not be important, but labor disputes are. But yeah, I actually think the NCA case was a huge... It was actually, like, huge in general for America. I, I am I am of the believer of that. I know. Well, tonight we're not watching sports ball. Tonight we're watching grown men beat each other up. Grown... Ooh, I wonder if there's any women's fights tonight. We're watching big, me big meaty men slapping meat tonight. Big meaty men slapping meat. Just with a reminder, at 5.30, we have a live footage of one championship MMA. It's going down. Oh, I'm excited. We have the live footage too. We don't have to, it's no watch along stuff chat. It's literally just like You can just sit here and watch You know how lit that is You know how like excited I am about this Uh 410 yeah I killed watch parties, so I'm making my own, pretty much. Uh, no, I actually signed a deal with a new, a kind of a company that's linking creators and sports leagues, basically. Um, because it's been a couple former Twitch employees that worked at Twitch Sports decided to make their own company. Yeah, decided to make their own company. And so uh, I'm excited about it. People that I used to work with on the Thursday night football stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the NCAA games, like when they clearly had like Vince Young in the game would always drive me crazy. Well, that's Vince Young. No, they don't do that football thing. I don't know what's happening for football this year. bombs yeah <laughs> that I can make it all this way talk about something completely different wow oh. oh I thought this was mine I thought this was four that's just a lot of streaming practice you know something here. Wait, am I poisoned? I'm not poisoned. Oh, it's so good. I guess I didn't need to do that. Mindset. 
man, if we had the cup, chat, this would be lit. No. Uh, the why are we purple? We have the what's it called? What's that thing called? Yeah. Elixir. Elixir. Thank you, chat. You know what? I'm good at talking, but I'm not good at thinking. Let's let this one get poisoned. Are you joking me? Miss the poison? Kidding me. I feel very dumb for that one. Oh, that's rough. Man, that's two that I died at Hunton chat. Sorry to doubt, but the odds are so good. You guys are like the people that play no pass line. Hate when people play no pass line. When someone pays no pass line, all I know is they have no friends. In your heart, you believed. Me too. I'm streaming it. Well, you know, I figured since I was off all week, we should do some real gaming. I need a new ROM hack to start playing. But I'm like, kind of like, yeah, I don't know. That last one was so good. You haven't been in a while. Is that what he played this morning? I was recovering. I was still in recovery mode this morning. I'm feeling good now, but it it took me a minute.
get away from me, monkeys. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Hey. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Give me all your blood. Cute. I don't remember when there used to be like a good roguelike every week. Now we get Balatro and that's it. Uh, thanks, medical. I still can't believe how good a game Balatro is. Feels like consoles are in a weird place for devs. Um, man, I mean, I I just think dev cycles on games are getting a little too long for a five-ish year console cycle. You know? Dead Cells people are making Prince of Persia, aren't they? I haven't heard anything about that. Oh, I fucked up. Uh, well, Rockstar is probably, I mean, as far as like, they're probably like one good game a generation. You know? I mean, just the way they make games. I mean, their games are these big, giant, huge things, you know? Fancy. Oh. Oh. Oh, how fancy. GTA 5 was on the... I know! Like, GTA 5 is so old. But at the same time, GTA 5 has been in the top 10 selling video games every month since it's been out. So... I mean, would you... Would you, you probably are not too eager to make... I mean, that's... They're awarded, they're afforded a, a development length that I don't think many other companies could pull off, you know, for that reason. <laughs> there was Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah, that was their only game though this generation, wasn't it? Where's Bully? That's just kind of crazy. They have good franchises that they literally just can't support. Red Dead was previous generation. Sorry, they haven't released anything for this generation, nor are they going to. You get... I'm sorry, you're right. Red Dead was previous generation. You're absolutely right about that. You're 100% right. Red Dead was 100 years ago, too. Skyrim ports. Did you see they had Doom working on a human cell? They had Doom running on, on a human human cell.
Nintendo being off cycle. Well, not just off cycle. They're not just off cycle too. They're off like they're in their whole wor own world, right? So you have you can't develop a game for that console too. So you're missing like extra install base, which I don't think helps. Everything's got to be PC. Metroid Prime 4. We're talking about games that are eventually going to come out. Get down here, buddy. GTA Trilogy, you can download on the Netflix mobile app? What? And play it on what? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, chat. Oh, shit, chat. We're fucked. We're so fucked. Fuck! But I can play it on, like, a... I can play GTA Trilogy on like my Apple TV. Mm. Silk Song. We've seen something of Metroid Prime 4. Who knows? Who knows about Metroid Prime 4? Yeah, I mean, since Dread, they, I mean, there's like the whole series is just like nothing. We saw a logo for Metroid Prime 4. Dude, we saw that before like Odyssey even came out. I feel like they've had three Pika games since their last Metroid, 3D Metroid. Martial arts. Big meaty men slapping meat. Um, Why? Well, I, I wish we were getting. I just wish we had more 2D installments of their major franchises. Yeah, I, I think. I don't think anybody would be mad if we had more 2D Mario's, 2D Metroids, 2D. Zelda's. You know, these games that don't have to be 70 hour long games and have five year development cycles like that, that would behoove Nintendo. somewhere chat it's been like a million years since the last 2d mario no but i mean before that one it had been a, it had been a rather decent amount of time fairly uh, our last non 2d or the last non remake zelda is pretty old even our last remake zelda is that's 2D is pretty old. And they made that game so pretty and they just never use that engine again, which also bothers me, you know? Shit. 
surprised we never got SM Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey 2. I have to feel like they're gonna launch their next console with a Mario game. Right? Like, it just seems like the next one. It's not that the games don't come, it's that they come once in a generation. Yeah, exactly. Like, I wish we could get more than one. Yeah. I don't, yeah, you're right. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, I guess Nintendo's pretty much always done that, though. Now that I think about it, it's not like we got a Mario 64 sequel, or... Oh, we didn't even get a 2D Mario, then. I know. I don't expect any of this. It's just the world I want to one day live in. Yeah, Timmy D. Hi, from Australia. Well, the Yoshi game is not a true Mario sequel. Ugh. God, don't you know canon events? Ugh, God. But we had two. I know. That's the, that's the exception. The NES had three. Well, the NES also had a development time of six months, so... It took longer to translate the games from Japanese than it did to make them. You wonder why we can't just make our own? Like, we make Romax as a community? Why can't we ever make something as compelling as Mario? What do you mean? Did you know that Super Mario Brothers 2 was really Doki Doki Panic? <gasps> I don't know. I mean, I played some pretty compelling ROM hacks. But making video games is not cheap on man hours. And unless you're interested in sharing profits with everyone that makes it, you know, uh, which most companies and publishers aren't, uh, there's no possible way to not pay them, right? Yeah. The developers cost good money. I'm not making a cat game all by myself. There's three of us. And we're all, you know, splitting profits. A lot of my job would be making sure you guys buy it. So pretty please buy it. <gasps> Fuck me in the fuck balls. I know, I want a Majora's Mask. I guess Tears was kind of Majora's Mask. I'm gonna play it on stream? Of course I'm gonna play it on stream. Play it every goddamn day for a while. Um, there's really not that many great straight 2D platformer indie games. It's not exactly a genre that sells a ton of them, you know? I'd say the genre of indie games that sells, like, a, like Metroidvanias, I'd say are pretty hot sellers in the indie space. Purely off the amount of them there are. Oh, you bitch. Do you think it's an indie games year for sure this year? I want to get... I feel like now would be a good time. Like, we want to hit that time of releasing it when... Like, the streamers have nothing to play. You know? Force them to play our game. You 
you love a good dungeon puzzler? What do you mean, like Adventures of Lolo style? Power World just had a big ass update today. Um, I wouldn't say Power World, like the update, it didn't add anything like particularly cool. But I feel like if you were still playing Power World or you just started, you'd be into the things that they updated with. Like a bunch of new items. They have like raids for like giant bosses now. You ever play Power World yet? Power World's fun. Yeah, I think Power World's totally. You can totally kill 30, 40 hours in Power World. I played Lunky last week. Nobody watched it. You miss 3D self action games? Well, Metal Gear Solid's never coming back, so. You put 80 hours of Power World in a week? Yeah, Power World was definitely one of those games that was like super fun, and then you just woke up one day and you're like, over it. You know? Which is a lot of games, to be fair. I'd say that's how a lot of gaming experiences go, yeah. Yeah, I don't think you're ever gonna see Splinter Cell again. Skeleton Key unlocks the eye now? What? Power World's your hotel game? I can see that, it's a pretty good hotel game. I had a really good time playing like on a server, you know? Like I would 10 out of 10 play, like if it had a major update, I would 10 out of 10 do a, like, a community server. That I paid attention to. A lot of gaming experiences just don't have staying power. I don't think a lot of gaming experiences should have staying power. Yeah, honestly, I feel like, I don't think many gaming experiences should be things you play for years and years and years. You know, they're, you can't have a million League of Legends. Uh, of course. Yeah, I'm excited for WrestleMania, man. Staying power is too personal. It's not even that. I just don't think that, like, I don't think most games are, like, they shouldn't. I think, like, League of Legends and games like that just really skew what video games should be to most people. And, like, you just shouldn't play one game forever, you know? Not just that, but streaming. I think streaming also skewed it. You know what I mean? Games you absolutely love that you never play again. Oh, same. Tons of them. Like Fallouts. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Oh, no. Damn it. No. <laughs> Did work. Didn't have any way to get up. Didn't have any way to get up. I was, uh, I mismanaged my ropes. Uh, I would never play New Vegas again. Um, I probably wouldn't play Fallout 1 or 2 again normal. Um, would I never play New Vegas again? Probably not, no. Yeah, no, probably not. Why would I play New Vegas at this point? I mean, I still haven't played Fallout 4. I should technically play that. I don't really have much interest in playing Fallout 4, but... I'm gonna restart. 
start. Yeah, but like Fallout 1 and 2, they're great games. They're amazing games, but they just start so fucking slow. And also, I don't want to spend all the time to build up the character. I'd ever play that again. <laughs> Jack, could you all spam an email, please? Spam. Oh, awkward. That's so awkward. He just died. I mean, hard emo spam. Like, if you're lurking and you just say, hey, I'm lurking. With emo. With emo. needed to know I was loved, that's all. That's all. This it? Jesus Christ! Turkey. Ha ha ha! It's my turkey now. Alright, we made it. My voice echoes in here. Does that mean it's just a big level? That's a lot of bombs. I was the lazy, lazy river action. It was so much fun. I we floated so hard. Um, we had the best time. Um, I couldn't express enough like gratitude. I had so much fun. Like thank you guys for not completely unsubbing to me. I was expecting to come home to zero subs and everyone to be like, dude, fuck you. You left for a week. I hate you now. Because I'm paranoid. Weirdo. Um, no, it was the best. It was the best. I can't. I can't express how much fun I had. How much I needed it. I was floating. It was warm enough in April in Mexico. It it was warm enough in Mexico. Why is this level so goddamn big? Uh, what was the best thing I ate? Um... Probably the room service chicken fingers. They were like gourmet fucking chicken fingers. They were so good. I loved them so much. Uh, but I shouldn't say that, right? Yeah, I gotta say something better than that. Um... Ah, 
Uh, what was the best thing I ate? Um, honestly, they had like a dank burger that we would get every day. Um, probably hibachi and the sushi, like, cause there was a sushi restaurant and a hibachi restaurant together. That was probably my favorite. Uh, I, G got a steak one night that was really good. Like wild, we were wildly surprised at how good it was. I was honestly, I was just kind of surprised at how good all the food was. Like I, I didn't have everything ranged from like good to great. And you would think at like a place like that, it wouldn't. And they, it never was like you've had enough food for the day. Yeah, it's just really fun. Um, well, I like wings. Like, I'll try wings anywhere I go. And I want to get chicken fingers anywhere I go. Yeah, I want both of those things, no matter where I'm at. Wow, okay. Uh, what was the breakfast menu? And eggs, bacon, whatever you wanted. Whatever you fucking wanted. They had, like, a breakfast buffet, and then they had, like three like breakfast restaurants you could sit down at. Like one was like seafood breakfast, and one was like French breakfast, and they had like a coffee house. No, I never left the resort. I don't, I don't, I'm not going anywhere. Excited. Uh, it was Excellence Cancun Playa Mujera. Dude, it was so worth it. I want to, like, honestly, I would get, I would get a bunch of my buddies together, a bunch of couples together. Like, I would totally do it again. I, I think we want to go back this fall. It was so nice, and just compared to like, I don't know, compared to like doing fucking anything here. I feel like compared to doing like any vacation in America, it was so much cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not as good as him, Merrick. Which I think that was the big thing. Like, I don't, I'm never going, we're never doing a, a night in Vegas again. I'm never doing that ever again. Ever. I'm done. Ow! Plus your burgers you go to at any place? Yeah, the seafood was all dang, I don't know, everything was really good. Also, I got to just like, hang out with my wife for a grip of days and... That was really, really nice just to get to kick it with her for a few days and enjoy our time together, you know? Seafood breakfast is so weird to you. Oh, but like salmon, salmon for breakfast is pretty fucking common. I mean, that's common here in America. Yeah. I guess salmon's not really seafood, but I feel like it's in the, it's in the same market. Vegas sucks. You know I love me some Vegas. But it is kind of like, I mean, we just thought about like how expensive like having a pool day in Vegas is. Where you like, you know, get drunk. Like that type of pool day, you know what I mean? And then you have to be around a bunch of fucking crazy people all the time. It just never can. Also, maybe I'm just old. Like that might be part of it too, chat. Like I can't, I gotta keep that in mind. Like maybe I'm just really, really, really fucking old. Also, chat, when we first got there, I looked at this dude, right? 
And I'm like, holy shit, that's my father-in-law. And he's here with another woman. What is going on? And then we quickly realize that it's just my father-in-law's doppelganger. And we were cracking up about it. And so we called him Compact Dan, because my father-in-law's Dan. We called him Compact Dan, because it's just a little bit more compact than that. And eventually, like, we started talking about him way too loud, because we were like, he doesn't know who we are. He doesn't know who that is. And then at one point, he came up and was like, who's Compact Dan? They were like, uh, uh, uh. Right? Yeah. Moral of the story is don't, don't talk loud about people. But like, anywhere you go, like, you never have to get up. Someone was always giving you a drink or food or whatever you wanted. It was just really nice. The service was great. Like, I didn't feel... Like, I definitely felt like I got way fucking more than my money's worth, you know? I don't know why I did this. <laughs> Yo, Dokazi, thank you for the prime. I really appreciate you. That's a brand new one, number go up. Uh oh, fuck. Chat, we're fucked. I don't know, we're in a bad spot. Oh, we're in a real bad spot here, chat. I don't think we can make it down. Oh, you enjoyed it? Yeah, that's a good that was a good movie. Monkey Jr., thank you so much. Okay, new plan. New plan, chat. New plan. We have a completely new plan. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Don't worry. This is... I think it's gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine, chat. I'm just gonna warn y'all. It's definitely not gonna be fine. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. Everything's definitely not fine. I'm literally fucked. No, I, I don't know. I have no clue. I need jetpack? Yeah, I need the jetpack now. That's what I need. We can get a jetpack. Everything's fine. Just roll with it. Oh. Alright, jetpack incoming now. Shit. Oh, oh, I can't. Oh, okay. I see. I see the problem. Okay. Okay. Okay.
go. Those aren't even those emotes have nothing to do with anything. Because uh, what was your favorite what was your favorite Stinicky song? I mean, can you believe it that nobody was already making covers of jerk off songs? I mean, the market was just there the whole time. Yeah, in Riggy Sneaky, John Cena plays a like a, a cover artist, but all of his artists are or all of his songs are like covers about masturbation. Yeah. No, all of his covers are like covers about masturbation. Yeah. Okay, well, we're really fucked here, chat. All right, never mind. We're just absolutely top tier 10 times fucked. How goes it? How was Mexico? Mexico was fucking awesome. It was so good, so much fun. I had the best fucking time. I'm going back in the fall. After, after, uh... After Kaizo Coliseum, I'm gonna take another... We're gonna go again. for too long a run anyway. I have a half hour. Yeah, I have a half hour after this. Our bow, I, I couldn't carry it with me anyway. Doesn't matter. Didn't come with me anyway. It wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna make it all the way. It just wasn't gonna make it. I have no way, I have no way to get up there. Where did B go while he was in Mexico? Uh, my mother-in-law comes and stays with me. He gets Grammy time. Wait. Wait, which one am I missing? Oh. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, and he was really good. Um, he was really, really, really good. From what I understand, he was a very, very, very good boy the last three days. Although he's he's working his teachers right now, chat. He's learned that if he says he's hurt, his teachers won't make him do anything. So now he's just pretending he's hurt. He's magically getting unhurt recess time. I'm like, I'm like, y'all ladies get him manipulated. Don't let him, don't let him swing that on you. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Pretend to be sick like lots of adults do as well? Yeah, but, you know. Trying to get him not to do that. It's scary that he's already being this manipulative at such a young age. <laughs> you know? Yo! Smant! Thank you for the raid. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, my name is Grant Pooh Bear. Uh, 
I play games with Samantha sometimes. Um, and I'm overall good looking. Um, currently I'm playing a game called Splunky. This is a rogue-like platforming game. Shit. Oh, I fucked up. And I'm about to die. If I ever try to pass this run, it's so hard. Uh, he lost his Pokemon run. Have you guys, um... Can I explain taxes in Portugal? Uh, yeah, you probably pay them and then you get healthcare, I'd imagine. Has he played Super Kaizo Iron Mon yet? I think Iron Mob's coming back next week. I have, I have an extension being approved by Twitch right now. Which is basically Iron Mon, but all of you are trainers, and you get to decide the moves and what items you use and everything else. Oh, fuck me in the dick balls. How much is my eye worth? Like, you want my eye? Like, you want to pay for it? Mm, well, my eye's been laser, laserly fixed, so... I mean, that's got to be worth something right there, right? I think that's worth more than a normal eye. I got robot vision. Can I ask more, can I, can I ask more questions about this, okay? If, if you're buying the eye... Do I have to go, like, eye patch? Do I get a glass eye? What replaces it? Whatever I want? It's almost a bionic eye. Man, I've never gotten the 1 out of 100 chance. Do I get to choose? Because I feel like that makes a big difference. Like, I would... Like, I feel like I don't have the swag for an eye patch, but I do have a good face for a lazy eye, right? Best of nine, you? <laughs> You'd wreck me, bro. I feel like I would have a good lazy eye face, you know? Bubble skip? All right. We'll try it. Hold on. Did I hit her with the whip? But get it off there. Oh my god, he's on a bubble. You never saw this level? This isn't the final boss. There's two more final bosses, but this is the first final boss. But if you beat her, you can't beat the other final bosses. But I don't have the items to go to the next final boss. So we're just gonna kinda, we're gonna kill her to establish dominance, and then we're gonna try a skip that we're 100% not gonna get. But we're gonna try it. Oh. Okay. Would you stop? Stop being such a fucking butt face. Alright, so she's dead. So we could technically win. Everyone agrees we won. We're victor. Everyone agrees, right? We don't need the credits to establish that we're a victor. No? 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 Dude, I love this game. 
GG's? Okay, everyone type in GG. It's a big GG moment. Okay. That's not gonna work. All right, we're gonna try and ride this bubble up. You know what? We'll take our dub. We'll take our dub. <laughs> we'll take our fucking dub. Yo, thanks, man, again for the raid. I really appreciate it. We'll just take our dub. Sometimes you gotta take our dub. Um, for those of you coming from Schmant's channel, uh, I got like 15 more minutes of gameplay, and then we're actually gonna be watching one championship MMA. We've got the full coverage. I get the full video here on my stream chat. We get the full effing video, so we get to hang out and watch big meaty men slapping meat. If that's not your thing, just know that I play a ton of video games, and you should follow me anyway. But if it is your thing and you want to watch Big Meaty Men slapping me, should hang out here. No. I wish da I wish he would have put all these characters in the game. Like I wish all the characters were in here, like Derek Yu and Tony Cabello. Like I feel like they would have been good skins. Six hours? No. We'll do as much as we can. Um, I don't know the full card. Hold on, let me see. It's probably a lot of guys we haven't heard of, because it's like under you know, it's like not top UFC, right? Um Hold on, what do we got here? Got the card, sorry. What are you doing, OBS? Why are you being a butt? Like that'd be a good that would have been a good one. Who's this? Ty Rotolo? Oh, we're rooting for anyone that's American chat. We're going hard for anyone in American. Any of the any American? We're just gonna go hard for him. Ben Tynan, is that? He used to be in WWE. Yeah, we're going hard. 10 fights. They have different martial arts, not only MMA. Oh, dope. Hawk Stallion, thank you so much. Jeer, thank you so much. Wait, was that brothers fighting each other? Where? got me all this guy's name's just sun black not against on the same card wait who are the brothers oh silva vladimir de la silva nicholas latte silva okay i see that there's two of them two rotolos oh see brothers fighting each other would be way fucking better like brothers fighting each other would be significantly better in my opinion That's a lot of fucking fights. Silva is a very common Brazilian name. Ugh, I'm the worst. It's not pro wrestling? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, it happens in pro wrestling all the time. Sorry, I'm just waiting until it shows my name on the credits here, chat. Yeah. I'm just waiting until it shows me. Yeah, it's actually a son versus a father. Our friends is Splunky Spl show like. Wait, are, are, am I still in here? Oh, that's lies. Revoked? Yeah, revoked. I got removed in the latest update, patched out. 
Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Wait, did I? Oh no. Still there. Still there. Oh, it's there. One better than Dan Giesling. You know what? I may not be as good a Big Brother player. I might be a better Traders player, though. <laughs> don't send that clip to him. Don't send that clip to Dan. Don't don't send that clip to Dan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love Dan. Please don't send that clip to Dan. Mm-mm. You know what he needed to do in traders? He just needed to set, like he needed to pick who he was gonna throw under the bus immediately and then do it. Like early, you know? Cause I think on that show, I think on traders, I think for the traders to win, one of the traders has to throw someone under the bus. Yeah. Super Mario G and show them before I got Gino. You're going to put in your message subs come and go, but as long as you don't pull it. Uh, yeah. Good. Well, I'm glad you didn't mention that too, because I love Gerard. I hope he figures everything out. Yeah, I hope he figures everything out and everything. Yeah.